Hey everyone, this is Mary Demuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray you through the Bible verse by verse. And we're back to our old schedule in um, praying through a large portion of Scripture. Right now we're in Luke chapter 1, readying our hearts for the Advent season for Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus coming to earth as a baby, which is just such an astounding thing to think about. So today we're in Luke 1, verses 8 through 10, and I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It says this, Now, it happened while Zacharias was serving as priest before God in the appointed order of his priestly division, as was the custom of the priesthood. He was chosen by lot to to enter the sanctuary of the temple of the Lord, and burn incense on the altar of incense. And all the congregation was praying outside in the court of the temple at the hour of the incense offering. Mind if I pray for you? Lord, prepare our hearts on this first day of December. Prepare our hearts for the coming of Jesus. Prepare our hearts for the advent. Prepare our hearts for what it means to have a light shining in the darkness. And Lord, many of us are carrying some really dark things right now. We are in desperation for your light. And I am so grateful that when a candle is lit in a dark room, it illuminates the entire room and the darkness has to scatter. So I pray for my friend today in the midst of the darkness that you would scatter that darkness. Thank you for the scripture about Zacharias. Thank you that you ordained all of it. How cool is that, that you uh, planned that he would be in the temple at that time through sacred lots and that other people were outside. They were praying in the court of the temple at the hour of the incense offering. And I just love the rhythm of that, that um, as we prepare for you and we prepare our hearts for this upcoming season that can be so busy, we can also be a part of welcoming you by praying at specific times throughout the whole day. Um, Thank you that we have access to you every single moment of every single day because of what Jesus did on the cross. But right now, we're just focusing right now on the incarnation, the beautiful power of what it meant that you put humans clothing on. (laughs) You clothed yourself in us. You walked around in our shoes. You... um, You knew what it was like to go hungry. You knew what it was like to be mocked and and, um, hurt. You knew what it was like to be betrayed. You knew what it was like to have conundrums and stress and personal relationship worries. You knew what it was like to be poor. I'm still so astounded that the God of the universe stooped to that level. And Lord, thank you for, for doing that. I mean, I'm just so grateful for it. I'm so grateful for what you've done. And thank you for Zacharias and Elizabeth and their part of this story that they are actually going to be giving birth to the one who prepares the way. And so, Lord, we pray for that for ourselves, that we would be ones who prepare the way for you during this season, that we would be light and salt in this crazy um, world without spice (laughs) and this world full of darkness. Lord, help us to be faithful to you as we pray for others. Help us to, um, as, as Zacharias did, help us to fulfill the duty that you have for us. I'm praying this on the heels of learning of um, a difficult death of somebody, and I'm reminded of the brevity of life, that I will not be on this earth forever. <laughs> I will not be... Um, I won't be here except for a fixed amount of time. You know when I was born and you know the day of my death as you do for all humanity. And Lord, I just want to make it count. I want this life here to count for something for your kingdom. So Lord, would you show us the things in our lives right now that we need to let go of, that are standing in the way of us fully following you? Would you show us where the darkness is that we could shed some light on it? Would you shed light on it yourself with the power of the Holy Spirit within us? Would you help us to realize that we have eternal lives and what we do on this earth, how we make the use of our time on this earth absolutely matters. So I pray for motivation today to point others to you, motivation to talk about you freely without fear and to share just the beautiful gift of who you are to this world 
Help us to live up to that expectation that we are your children. And children just love their daddies, right? They just love their daddies. And we just want to live as if we love you with that same kind of amazing affection. I pray all of this in the incarnational name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for listening to Pray Every Day. You are such a blessing to me, and I'm so excited for this Christmas to happen. So I hope that you're joining with me on these next couple weeks as we prepare our hearts for the coming season. Uh, If you'd like to leave a review, that'd be really awesome. It just helps more people find this podcast or share this with someone who's having a, um, a bah humbug season. Maybe this will help them. So have a great day and uh, happy December 1st.